Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me warmly welcome you all here as we gathered for the group draw of the 2023 European Baseball Championship for men. We are in the beautiful residency of Mayor of Prague, right in the center of this magical and uh, historical city, close to the river bank and old town square, located right in the center of Europe, of the European Union. We thought that this will be a great location for uh, this draw with a historical backdrop. European Baseball Championship for Men will be the biggest event organized by the World Baseball and Softball Confederation Europe in the next year, and it will be a tournament for 16 different nations, and it will be held in the Czech Republic. The first baseball championship in Europe took place in 1954, and so far even different countries have won at least one medal at the championship. There are three nations with medal count in double digits. These are Spain, Italy, and the Netherlands. Dutch baseball players are the reigning champions with 24 rings on their fingers with uh, 24, 24 golden medals, uh, uh, if you like. And before we proceed with the draw itself, please let me welcome here Mr. Krunoslav Karin, the president of the WBSC Europe, to share a few words with us. for the draw of the Euro Baseball 23. We are very happy to have this championship here in Czech Republic because in the, in the past, every tournament that was organized here was perfectly organized and uh, everything was doing, everything was working smooth. So this is going to be a little bit more work because it's the second time actually that we have a 16 teams, but first time in Czech Republic and we are very, very happy and waiting for the September next year. It will be third time in the Czech Republic, and now it is the time to unveil the host cities of the 2023 European Baseball Championship for Men. So as you see, we have great fields, great locations. Hopefully they will be filled with fans and excitement. And I uh, think they uh, will be, and it will be great tournament. In September 2023, we will have tournament for 16 different teams, 16 different nations. They will be divided into groups of four. And there, there will be up to eight games a day throughout the most of the tournament. After the group phase, top two teams will proceed to the quarterfinals. The rest will play for the final placement, as well as the teams that will fall short in the quarterfinals or the semifinals afterwards. We will begin the tournament on 24th of September, and uh, we will know who will be the new champion on the 1st of October. There are certain rules of the draw that uh, we will need to know. And I would like to invite Mr. František Bunta, uh, the baseball commissioner of uh, WBSC Europe, here to the stage 
to share these important details of the draw with us. Thank you very much. First, I will welcome all participants of the 2023 European Championships draw here in Prague. My task is to present the draw system of the event. First, I will explain the tournament system and placement into groups, and after the presentation, I'm ready to answer any your question. Due to a decision taken by the WBC Europe Executive Board on recommendation of IOC, all the national teams of Russia and Belarus are excluded over participating in the WBC European tournaments in 2023. That means for us, Russia was uh, uh, in 10th place in the last European Championships as it's banned from the event. The first 13 ca countries from the last European Championship will be participate and the three countries which was qualified and the countries are Hungary, France and Switzerland. Then we have the 16 team placed in four balls and four groups will be formed by drawing. The ball one is a uh, the first top four countries, which is the Netherlands, Israel, Italy, and Spain. Ball two, Czech, Great Britain, Croatia, Belgium. Ball three, Germany, Austria, Sweden, Ukraine. And ball four, Greece, France, Switzerland, and Hungary. And then we have one system that organizer is uh, in the group A. And uh, teams which is from the ball two, they are placed on uh, play spot three. That's all. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Mr. Welcome. Bunta, for these rules. <laughs> Next, I would like to invite Mr. Peter Dietrich, uh, the president of Czech Baseball and also the vice president of WBSC Europe for Baseball here to the stage. As you see, uh, Mr. Dietrich unites the approaches of the local organizers and the WBSC Europe in his personality. So, uh, Mr. Dietrich, this tournament will be quite a huge event. Yes. Good uh, morning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, who are the main partners of this event? Okay, good morning, everyone, <laughs> firstly. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I, I guess that will be a really huge uh, tournament. And, of course, the, um, our main partner is the government. We have a, gov a government guarantee for this event, which is real, uh, real help us. After that, we have these great clubs uh, uh, all around the Czech Republic, which we can cooperate. And of course, we have a, we have a municipality and, and region, and they are, they are really help not even us, but uh, even the, the baseball clubs in these uh, cities. What are your plans as far as far for the organization before this tournament? Oh, we have a lot, lot of lot of plans. Uh, firstly, we would like organize one of the best uh, tournament in in Europe. That's our our say the first goal. The second one, we would like uh, more in. Uh, we would like spread the baseball around the Czech Republic. So we have a special program, Czech play baseball for uh, for it and. Uh, Main goal is to have a full stadium, same like 2005 and uh, 2014. And, uh, and, uh, and the last goal, and not, <laughs> not, 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 uh, not the less, is take a medal, because we are one of the countries which uh, have a medal, so that's, that's, the, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed for, yes. for that. Yes. Uh, this will be the third time European Championship mm -hmm. will take place in the uh, Czech Republic. Uh, what, do you, uh, what do you recall out of uh, those two, two previous editions in 2005 and 2014? Yeah, that's uh, that's. I of, of course I still still remember. 2005 is a is a first uh, European Championship. 2014 we organized together with Germany Reg uh, Regensburg. We are quite unlucky during this uh, tournament because it's a lot of a lot of rain and uh, and that's it. But I I hope this September. Uh, everything play with us, even <laughs> even the weather, which is very important because 
baseball is a is a out, yeah. outdoor event. Another fingers crossed. Uh, Thank you. No rain <laughs> uh, during the tournament, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, we can introduce the teams in the first pot again. Mm. These teams are the strongest teams from the previous mm. European Championship that took place in 2021 mm -hmm. in uh, in Italy. And these teams are the Netherlands, Israel, Italy, and Spain. Uh, real uh, baseball nations with many medals uh, on their count. So. Mm. Uh, Mr. Dietrich, please, uh, let's do the draw. Okay. Okay, I, I don't looking there. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I already know, you know. Okay. May I? Yes. Okay. The first is Spain. So Spain is the first team that we draw here for the European Championship in baseball in 2023. The Spain will go to the, to the Group A, really strong nation with one gold, two silver medals and 15 bronze medals out of uh, European Championship strong contender in Group A. Okay, another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Italy. Italy will go to the group B, 10 golden medals, 17 silver and 5 bronze, 32 medals out of European Baseball Championship for Italy altogether. Okay. Netherlands. The Netherlands, the reigning champion, goes to the group C. Uh, 24 golden medals, uh, 9 silver, just two times in the whole history the Netherlands were not in the finals. So this is uh, one of the biggest uh, favorites of the whole tournament. Just be sure. <laughs> we will see. We will okay. see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Israel, of course. <laughs> Israel it is. Israel goes to the group D. Israel, the strong contender as well, European representative on the top, uh, Tokyo Olympic Games. So these are the first four teams uh, that are split into the groups. Group A, Spain, Group B, Italy, Group C, the Netherlands, and Group uh, D, Israel. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. In the second pot, we will have just three baseballs. That is because Czech Republic, as a home team, was appointed to the Group A of uh, the championship, to the position 3A because of the rules of this draw. Uh, so uh, uh, we uh, have here teams Great Britain, Croatia and Belgium in uh, this uh, third pot. And I would like to invite Mr. Krunoslav Karin here to perform the draw of the second pot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Karin, in February there was a big change in European baseball <coughs> and softball ground because a new organization was, uh, was found, uh, World Baseball and Softball Confederation Europe. What are the goals of this organization? Well, it was a process that will take, uh, take now for six, seven years. Uh, you know, we lost the Olympic Games in uh, 2008, so after that the uh, IBF, which was the baseball uh, World Federation and ISF, the Sobol B F Federation, decide to join together and present us as a one sport for the Olympic Games because they thought it's going to be much easier to get with the men baseball and the women Sobol to the Olympics game, which we actually did it in Japan, and hopefully I hope we're going to did it. We're going to do it again in 28 uh, LA. So because of that, they got together, and for us was uh, have a reason because more than 60 percent of the federation in Europe are joined anyway. So it was really kind of a right decision to do because now we have a much stronger federation. We have a three sports now. We have a baseball five also as an urban sport. So, you know, it's a better, bigger federation. We learn from each other and I think that we are heading in the right way. Mm, right and maybe even a bigger fan base for, of course, for the yeah, championships. Of course, yeah. We'll yeah. see. So please, uh, let us draw uh, the okay. remaining three teams for, from the second basket. We will draw for the group B now. 
So Group B is a Great Britain. Great Britain goes to the Group B to Italy. Two silver medals for Great Britain on the European Championship so far. Croatia. Croatia <laughs> with reigning champions, the Netherlands, in Group C. And the last one is Belgium. And Belgium goes to the Group D, Belgium, uh, which actually won a gold on the European uh, Championship in uh, 1967, two silver medals and uh, six bronze medals. Belgium is fourth most successful team in uh, European baseball history. Uh, what do you say to that Group C, Croatia, which I bet is your favorite yeah, team, maybe? I think it's fine. We'll wait to the end of the draw, so it can be a group of death and it can be easy group, so we'll see. Okay, thank you very much, thank Mr. You. Karin. Okay, let us proceed to the third pot of uh, the European Championship 2023 draw. In this group of teams, we have very strong teams as well. They are, they are Germany, Austria, Sweden and Ukraine. And I would like to ask Mr. Jan Jirovsky, please, would you join me here on the stage? Mr. Jan Jirovsky is the director of the tournament. He is a man with tremendous uh, experience from organizing, for example, World Floorball Championship, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which were a uh, great success in here in Czech Republic. Floorball itself has a great story of being a sport that started in school gymnasiums, and in just a couple of years it rose to the world stages, world arenas packed with fans, with athletes performing on um, the highest level possible in sport. How did it happen? Uh, first, uh, welcome everybody, and uh, hello Jakub. Uh, the the story behind this, like, uh, as I said before, when I started to work with the baseball, it's about the courage to dream and uh, be there to hard work. Because it's every, everything when you have a clear goal and you are n not, uh, you are there to go for it. And this is which can happen with the baseball too, because I see many similarities. Uh, so do you see the similar way as floor, floorball did uh, in, in past for European baseball? Yeah, yeah, I can see that then now I'm in baseball like for a couple of, uh, couple of months and I can compare that, uh, for example, when, I, when we launched the World Championship 2008, which was the break point for Czech floorball, uh, I see many similarities. The same courage, the same uh, enthusiasm uh, and there the only thing which we need to concentrate now is go for the details, because the difference in, in the details. Uh, I think baseball here is a good sport, but we need to add entertainment around to make it more fun, be more supportive for the families, for the members, and come back to the, to the basement to have it strong. So I have maybe one last question, the same maybe as was for Petr Dietrich. Uh, how do you want this championship uh, uh, that will be here in September of uh, 2023 to be? Uh, we have a lot of discussions with Peter and we decided we will have three medals. One we, are, we, are, we don't have in the hands, it's, it's a sport one. Uh, but we will do our best to have an environment so supportive and so successful that we will bring the good stadiums and, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, audiences to support the national team. And then we have two another medals. One we would like to gain in, a, in a attendance, in the, in the numbers of the spectators. We would like to have a historical moment and historical numbers when it will, we will hold the records for, le let's say, 10, 15 years. And then we would like to have an organization support and uh, success like that we would like to go make a huge atmosphere around, mean huge f f uh, fun zones and, uh, and the entertainment for the, for the people. And actually, that was the thing that happened during World Floorball Championship, right? Because uh, yes. you, you made a new world record in attendance uh, during that time. Yeah, exactly. And uh, this is the thing we would like to bring to baseball, because I think that uh, you know that the success, again, leads to success. So then when you have a, like, we, we will deliver the top sport even in Czech Republic in 2023. It will be much smoother for baseball to make next steps, but still, as we discussed, this is the first step. We need to use the, the, these championships 
for the next levels of the of the growing of the ba of the baseball. Mm -hmm. So please let us draw okay. the third pot, and we will see what teams will join those okay. that we already see in the groups. So, so group A, who will play with Spain in Czechia? Austria. So Austria joins group A as another contender. Austria for the fourth time, they will be in the elite championship group. Group B. It's Sweden. Sweden is the third team to <laughs> Italy and Great Britain. Sweden with two bronze medals out of European uh, championship in baseball in history. So, Group C with Netherlands and Croatia. Ukraine. It's Ukraine as the third <laughs> team <laughs> for the Group C. And the last one? Deutschland. <laughs> Germany. Germany. Ger Germany or, D or Deutschland, as you said, goes to the Group D with Israel and Belgium. Uh, Germany also a really strong contender with uh, one silver medal and seven bronze medals out of uh, European uh, Championship. So thank you very much for thank the you. draw. In the fourth pot, we have three teams uh, that made their way to the championship through qualification process. These teams are Hungary, France and Switzerland. And the fourth team of this group is Greece. And uh, now please let me welcome here uh, to the stage Mrs. Monique Schmidt, the representative of Swiss Baseball and Softball Federation. Thank you very much for being here with Thank us. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Next year, it will mark your first uh, nation's um, attendance or participation to the top division of uh, European Baseball Championship. How tough it was for you to get through? Oh, it was um, quite tough. We had to beat Lithuania in the, in the finals and the qualifier. That was a really tough game, and, uh, but we made it. We were before in two or three finals, but we never made it. And this one was really for us... Uh, really big thing and uh, we more than happy to be here and to uh, show what we can do. Mm. <laughs> Hope Schwitz, that, that's a chant of Swiss fans. Are you looking forward to hear it? Uh, oh yeah, I, oh, I hope we have <laughs> a lot of uh, Swiss uh, people coming over. I'm pretty sure about that because um, the Swiss fan community is quite big and uh, everybody is looking forward for this event and especially coming to this country it uh, will be mm. a very nice for us. And actually we are looking forward too because uh, at least from my view the Swiss fans are tremendous how, how, they, how they enjoy the game, how they are loud, how they can uh, cheer for their team. Was it always like this or is it just in the recent years? No, I think depending on which sport, we always had very good fans. And uh, I mean, you know, the tennis fans or the hockey fans or so, but uh, the baseball fans will show up and will cheer for the team. I'm pretty sure about that. And we will welcome them warmly here. So please okay. uh, let us draw the fourth okay. pot. Here we go. That's a nasty one. <laughs> but it okay. worked. Greece. So Greece is the final team in Group A with Spain, Austria and Czechia. So Greece already have one medal from the European Championship. Group B. Hungary. Hungary will play with Italy, Sweden and Great Britain for the two places in quarterfinals out of this group. La France. France will play in Group C with the Netherlands, Ukraine and Croatia. That and we will check the last one. <laughs> last but not least. Switzerland. And Switzerland goes to Group D with Israel, Germany and Belgium. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, so 
So this is how all the groups look like once again, as you see in Group A, Spain, Austria, Czechia and Greece, in Group B, Italy, Sweden, Great Britain and Hungary, in Group C, in the Netherlands, the reigning champions and uh, uh, team or the nation who won 24 golden medals in the European Championship, then Ukraine, Croatia and France, and in Group D we have Israel, Germany, Belgium and Switzerland. Uh, some really tough groups, I bet that we will see great baseball matches. It's interesting that in Group A there was Spain and Czechia playing all together uh, as well in 2014. Uh, big contenders uh, as well on, as on a qualification on World Baseball Classic on this September. Uh, we will introduce to you as well the championship logo. Have you seen it already? It was uh, uh, made public two days ago. It's, it's uh, a work of Tomáš Svoboda and it is a beauty. Uh, the emblem features a baseball with three traits. The green one represents the grass and the fingers pitching the ball, giving it speed and rotation. So you see it, uh, how that uh, green line kind of twists and uh, that's a big part of a baseball game. Uh, the blue represents the sky and the bat bending during the swing and uh, during the impact of the ball. So that's uh, another part of the logo. And the red represents the clay and the wrist movement during catching the ball. So that's the story behind the logo that we have for the European Championship. I bet that uh, this logo will surround us during the months to come and uh, you will enjoy it in uh, many different ways as uh, the speakers here said how it will be. So that was the logo. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more honorable guest here that I would like to invite to the stage. It is uh, Mr. Petr Fosek, the president of Football Association of Czech Republic. Mr. Fosek, please. Good morning. Thank you very much for being here with us. How did it happen that the uh, man from football is on a baseball action? Normally, you used to have a band something but uh, now they invited me huh? <laughs> no 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 seriously um, with uh, Czech baseball president Petr Dietrich we are together in the executive committee of uh, Czech sports union which is the organization about 80 sports branches uh, and we invited him uh, in the summer for our under 19 women's euro in Ostrava so uh, I came back and uh, paid the respect uh, to Petr and uh, of course the baseball community, so I want to greet on behalf of uh, Czech Sports Union and also on behalf of Czech football, the international baseball community, the European. I think it's a very wise decision. Hvala predsednice, dobrodošlica. And of course the Czech baseball community. <laughs> I bet your time is limited, uh, even now in the time of uh, World Championship in Qatar. Uh, did you have a chance to, to visit some baseball game in your life? Yeah, I was in Qatar in the beginning and I'm going there for the final, but uh, mentioning baseball, um, I visited it twice, once in the United States and once in Japan. I think it's a challenge that I didn't see it uh, on the Czech soil. So for me, it's a, let's say, task, homework, to come to the Euro and to see one of the matches and to support the team of Mr. Khadim. Uh, you were in Japan on a baseball game. Uh, did the fans sink and uh, were their corals? Because Japanese fans are usually really loud and uh, really supportive for their team. Okay, for us it was a, a little bit surprise because Japan is one of the countries where baseball is more popular than football. You switch on TV and there is 24-7 20, there is baseball. So, um, okay. <laughs> Uh, there are a few countries like this, um, but uh, on the other hand, I think uh, it's a kind of, uh, of blessing that uh, 
our national team of baseball is qualified and they, they will play in March in, in Japan. So uh, they will really enjoy it uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this country. Mm. Actually, <coughs> there is one another thing that baseball and football has common in, uh, in Czech Republic or have in common in Czech Republic. You were the first teams on, on the field during uh, the uh, COVID pandemic in May 2020. You were the first two uh, sport disciplines, let's say, that got back on the field. So that shows kind of like spirit of the games. I didn't know, maybe it happened by coincidence, but uh, I think it clearly shows uh, that uh, the, in the team sports we are used to fight. Uh, the Czechs are fighters, uh, whatever, whatever uh, type of sport it is. And uh, we just really wanted to go back to the pitch and play again. And so we, I think on behalf of all of us, we hope that uh, the COVID will not return again. Uh, with the Football Association of the Czech Republic, you have broad experience in organizing huge sporting events, huge games of the national team. Uh, do you have any recommendations for the Czech organizers of uh, European Baseball Championship? No, um, I think um, I heard from the tournament director that they are ready. So uh, I would not be <laughs> intervening in the, in the skills because, okay, in the, in the match organization, there are the principles which are the same for all sports, and there are some specificities for, uh, uh, for, the, for the sport uh, which is organizing the competition. So uh, I'm far to giving some uh, wise advices. I'm sure that uh, Petr chose the best team for organization, and I'm uh, fully supportive in having the best Euro ever. Uh, and of course, because uh, I don't need to be neutral, <laughs> the Czechs will make um, this medal, uh, which is still hanging on the tree, but... Uh, uh. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how all will happen. Actually, you mentioned that uh, just before, a couple minutes ago, that you, that you followed the Cinderella story of Czech baseball players during the qualification for World Baseball Classic in uh, September, when, when they made a history and uh, became one of the 20 teams that will play on uh, this uh, professional World Championship and uh, in the group stage in Japan. Yeah, okay, my time is fully occupied by football, but of course, if you are obsessed by sport in general <laughs> uh, and check, check results, check teams' results, uh, it was impossible uh, to miss it. So uh, I think it was a great performance. And once again, congratulations uh, to the team and to the coach and everybody uh, who was involved uh, in this success. And, uh, I think there are two brilliant peaks uh, in front of them, uh, Japan in March and then, then the Euro uh, in, in the own country. Uh, so um, this is a wonderful opportunity to develop uh, the game because I think everybody who is organizing and we did some European championships in, of football in the past, okay, lower categories in, in our country is the follow-up phase. L like uh, we heard, there is a, a plan how to develop uh, baseball in, in the country. Thank you very much for being here with us. And please, if you have time next September, come to the European Baseball Championship in one of the five cities. You are uh, really warmly welcome to, to uh, take part and uh, see some great baseball. Thank I you very try. much. Thank you very much. Good luck, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here, for watching us online as well. I hope you feel the excitement for the championship because we do. We are looking forward for the group phase that will start on 24th of September of 2023. So thank you and see you next year on the Baseball Diamond in Czech Republic.